Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This is my startup tutorial for the A10C2. Let's get cracking. Right, so here we are in the cockpit of the A10C2. So first things first, we're going to come across to the right hand side. We're going to turn the battery power on by right clicking. I'm going to turn the inverter to standby by right clicking. Next thing we're going to come over, what I like to do to get this out of the way is I'll arm the ejection seat now because then I can see the APU button easier. So I'm going to start the APU with the right click and then I'm going to watch the exhaust gas temperature and the actual APU percentage going up. Once that reaches 100, I'm going to turn on the APU generator power. Any second now. There it is. Right, so APU generator power is on. Now at this point we can start the engines, but we need to make sure the left and right wing boost pumps and main pumps are in this up position. If they're not, click them so they go to this position. Depends on where you start and which A10, if it's going to be up or not. So if they're not, just make sure they're in that up position. Now before I start the engines, what I'm going to do is turn on my radios here. So right click my arc to 10. I right click. And then right click. Now that that's done, I'm going to bring the left idle out of the idle position. So the left engine is now spilling up, so we can see here temperature rising, the RPM is going up, and the PSI. Once that stabilizes at 60% RPM, we're going to then turn on the right engine. So just waiting on it coming around now. Takes a little while to build. Well, we're waiting. We can uncage our standby ADI. There we go. It's still going around. Master caution comes on. Just silence that. Now at this point where we're waiting as well, we can also close our canopy. So you can either press the button or left control and C. Canopy comes down and locked. Our left engine stable, so we're going to bring the right engine into the idle position. While we're here, I'm going to turn on the yaw and pitch SES. And then I'm going to come across to the right. I'm going to turn on the CDU and the EGI. It will turn on our MFDs ready. And then we'll click these th three switches, the KICU up, the GTRS, and then the IFCC to the test position. So right click it once. And it says up near and HUD, engage pre-flight bit. Yes, and we click enter. This will run through its pre-flight checks. See our right engine is coming round, he's nearly spilled up. While we're waiting on this, we can also right click to turn on our RWR and all the different systems. We'll put it into the manual mode actually. And then we wait in the pre-flight test bit finishing. I'll click my mirrors down. Pull up, pull up. So while that finishes test, we've got our altitude, DTS upload altitude. page. I'm going to load all by pressing the button at the bottom. Now all the asterisks disappear from the TAD, the DSMS, the TGP page, the HMCS and the ARC 210. That will all come up with an asterisk it's loaded that is okay so the pre-flip bit test is done so we press enter and then we just select down using this button to exit and then we right click the IFCC again to the up position okay so the DTS upload is complete so on the right hand panel we're gonna click the CDU and we can see that our nav is beginning to align when it does align we click Nav. While we're waiting on that, we're going to bring up the helmet mount sight, Scorpion. Engines are started, so we're going to turn off the APU. I'll do it with my HOTAS, but it's this button here. And then you turn off the APU generator power there. Now we're watching this panel here, let me adjust my head. We can see. ILS, INS nav ready. Now when that starts flashing, 
we're going to click the nav button and then we'll be almost ready for takeoff. So the Scorpion helmet sight is working. We can have a look around. Now once nav's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the eggy button, change it to steer point and then I'm going to turn on my EAC. What might not have been selected, uh, it was for me because I had my button there, is your radar alt altimeter. So keep that up. The last few things we're going to do is the EAC after we've pressed the eggy steer point, EAC, anti-skid, and then we'll be good to go. So I'll fast forward until this starts flashing. Okay, the INS nav is ready, so we'll click the nav button. You see that moves around. Now, I want it for my flight plan, not for TACAN or anything like that, so I'm just going to rotate that round to flight plan. Now, we've still got EAC and anti-skid, so we're going to turn on the eggy, go to steer point, That'll point to my steer point. Then we're going to turn on the EAC. All the anti-cautions are going to accept anti-skid. So we'll turn on anti-skids, turn on taxi lights, and turn on nose wheel steering. Now that's the button here behind the throttle. Uh, sorry, behind the uh, control stick. But I have it mapped on my OTAS. So nose wheel steering is engaged. Now the last thing we want to do before we taxi is press and push, push and hold the takeoff trim button. Put the flaps down to the maneuver position there. And then we're going to taxi out to the runway. Taxiing the hog is fairly easy. It's just a case of following the lines to get to the runway. But here at Nellis is right here. Now, obviously, you'd be contacting air traffic for clearance and all that jazz, but I've created an aircraft on the ground at Nellis. I'm the only one around, so I'm going to go to the runway. I'm going to taxi, line up in the centre line, then you're going to put your brakes on. There we go. Lined up. Now, we're going to accelerate to 100% while we stamp on the brakes. Then we're going to accelerate to 135 knots. At 135 knots, we're going to give ourselves a 10 degree angle of attack. Easy peasy. So, Press and hold the brakes. Bring the engines up. All the way to 100. And release. Once you get beyond 50 knots, you can disable nose wheel steering and just use the rudder. There we go, beyond. So nose wheel steering off. So I'm just using the rudder now to adjust, watching the speed. Then at 135, we're going to Go back and stick gently and let the aircraft fly itself off the runway. There's 120, 130, 135, rotate, bring ourselves up, and away we go. Here comes up, silence the alarm. And then our flaps can come to the up position. And that's us airborne. Off towards our mission. Now this of course was just a basic tutorial as to how to get the aircraft started and airborne. There is more in-depth settings depending on the mission that you want to do. You can set the aircraft up entirely differently before you even taxi to the runway. However, this is a beginner's guide designed to get you up and flying. I hope it's helped. Uh, thank you very much in advance for you clicking that like and subscribe button. And until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.